Assalamualaikum dear students it's Dr Masuma Mehta welcome to my youtube channel uh, today we will discuss about the inguinal hernia so let's go okay before starting the abnormal condition we have to first discuss the normal condition right so now this is the inguinal ligament as you can see in this picture this is the um, anterior superior iliac spine which is connected with the pubic tubercle now this is this band like structure is inguinal ligament now we have to select a midpoint here now 1.25 cm above this midpoint has the inguinal canal on the both sides okay now see 1.25 cm above the inguinal ligament is the inguinal canal now this canal contains two opening we have superficial ring and the deep ring now in this picture you can see this is the deep inguinal ring this is the superficial inguinal ring as we have already discussed that this is inguinal ligament and one point in the from the midway 1.25 cm above this locates the inguinal canal okay now this is the inferior epigastric vessel which has its importance we will discuss later okay then the inguinal canal passes to main structures normally here we are only talking about the normal conditions okay the spermatic cord in males and round ligament of uterus in females now what happens in the inguinal hernia when there is protrusion of abdominal content through the inguinal canal it is called as inguinal hernia as we have already discussed in the previous video that it can be omentoceal it can be enterocele it can be a part of bladder it can be a part of ovary right okay now the inguinal hernia is further divided into two main categories we have direct inguinal hernia and indirect inguinal hernia starting from indirect inguinal hernia the protrusion of abdominal contents from the deep inguinal ring placed laterally to inferior epigastric artery remember i said inferior epigastric artery has its importance if the content is being protruded laterally the inferior epigastric artery it is indirect and if it's uh, coming out from the medial portion then it is direct okay it is most common hernia in young the congenital hernia are indirect due to patent ductus vaginalis so here is a point to remember that all of the conge congenital hernias are indirect in nature more common in males okay so this is the pictorial representation here you can see this is the canal and here we have the deep ring and here we have superficial ring now you can see the contents are coming out from the deep ring right not from the superficial ring superficial in, uh, ring is secondarily involved however there is defect within the deep ring so the contents are coming out okay now there are certain types of indirect inguinal hernia we have biblonocele funicular and complete okay we'll discuss it now you can see here the protrusion of abdominal content this is the deep ring this is the superficial ring it's not crossing the superficial ring right it's only crossing the deep ring because the defect is indirect so this is biblonocele when it does cross its limit like it when it crosses the superficial ring it is funicular but remember one thing it doesn't comes out uh, at the bottom of the scrotum when it comes this at the bottom of the scrotum it is called as complete indirect inguinal hernia right so the, this is actually a differentiating point between these three things and then we have direct inguinal hernia if the bulge comes out from hazelbeck triangle directly or pass uh, or posterior wall of inguinal canal so here you can see there is no any defect in the deep ring but there is defect in the posterior wall of the inguinal canal if there is inferior epigastric it's not shown here but just uh, suppose that inferior epigastric artery is located here right so what will happen it's this defect is medial to it so as i have told you this will be direct inguinal hernia so the defect is within the posterior wall and the content are coming out from the superficial ring right okay now the types of direct inguinal hernia we have funicular direct hernia and dual hernia okay after discussing all about this hernias like inguinal hernia direct or indirect one thing that is 
worth talking about that is dds of inguinal hernia so let's discuss in males what can be the dds of inguinal hernia spermatocele right then we have femoral hernia which is very common in females though it also occurs in male but it's very common in females and then we have encysted hydrocele's and vaginal hydrocele now these conditions are basically dds of inguinal hernia so you can confuse between these whenever you will uh, see these things in clinical aspect so these all that was all about the hernia inguinal hernia so if you have any question or query you can ask thank you allah